The sensation of flying is a feeling like no other. While it cannot be completely achieved, many things attempt to replicate it, and roller coasters are no exception. And no ride does it better than the B&M Flyer. If you want to hang hundreds of feet off of a mountain facing your impending death, then Tatsu at Six Flags Magic Mountain is the ride for you. Tatsu came into fruition during the Six Flags bankruptcy. Their master plan was to add a $21 million B&M on the mountain during the bankruptcy. Real smart, I know. In the midst of possibly selling the park, Tatsu opened to the public on May 13th, 2006 at a height of 170 feet, a top speed of 62 miles per hour, and a total length of 3,602 feet. The ride features a dual station as well as a single rider line through the exit. Please use this as it saves so much time. The ride begins by climbing the lift, which is ironically the scariest part of the ride, since you stare directly at the ground. It is at times like this the idea of the restraint unlocking will pop into your mind, even though this is pretty much impossible on a B&M flyer specifically, as it is the most overly designed roller coaster train ever. Once reaching the top, the train will twist to the right, followed by the train rising up into a corkscrew, immediately followed by a zero-g roll. This is followed by a horseshoe turn above Ninja Station, a left turn, and then the ride's most infamous element, the pretzel loop, which is not as intense as everyone leads you to believe, but is still a great element overall and the highlight of the ride. This is followed by an inline twist, a 135 degree right turn over the Revolution Fountain, and then the mid course. Now, unlike what most people think first time, there is not more ride. I kid you not. Everyone I went on this ride with thought there was more. My brothers, my mother, everyone. But yeah, it's just a downward turn, which isn't bad at all, and then the final break run. That's it. While this might sound like a buzzkill similar to Ninja's second lift, it's not. It doesn't kill pacing or anything. It's fine. So Tatsu overall was a very poor financial decision on Six Flags' behalf, but that poor decision led to one of the highlights in Magic Mountain's lineup. Unfortunately, there aren't many B&M flyers out there, but they all excel. None more than Tatsu. And maybe Flying Dinosaur, but Tatsu delivers the sensation of flying unlike any other American flyer, giving great views and delivering one of the most unique experiences in the park. I'm going to give Tatsu an 8 out of 10. Great ride that I will continue to abuse the single rider line for. Another great ride that you're forced to be a single rider is Wonder Woman Flight of Courage. My review is popping up in the card right now. I'll see you there.